about a year ago I had a deal that I showcased here for a sale and somebody bought it and that somebody is someone who is in the TJ tribe the property that we were selling that came out on a Wednesday deal day uh, it was selling for two million to a 2.2 million somewhere there and it needed around about 500,000 to conclude on it and um, this person went on to do the the deal uh, around about in December of the previous year and I did another video where I did a walkthrough on it and um, this is something that I'm always doing I'm always doing these deals and I I'm able to share the same recipes that I am doing with other people uh, and in today's video my friends I am going to showcase to you the person or the individual who then bought that property um, and I am fortunate enough that uh, he's been able to come through to our master classes we do run master classes every quarter and you're also welcome to attend those if you're wanting to learn uh, but over and above that for me today's video it's a very it's very close to my heart because I think uh, it indicates to us that with a little bit of work, this is possible. It's just not a TJ thing where TJ is going out there, he can be able to do these things. But the reality is that anyone who is dedicated, who is going to learn and uh, who's going to put their resources, they will be able to do it. So before we finish off, there's going to be a little bit of a lengthy video today. Uh, so I'm hoping that you're going to enjoy it. We've tried to put everything together. Uh, it's basically a back flash. Uh, we're doing a back flash. Uh, and this person here is going to walk us through on how he managed to get those resources and how he's managed to actually do the deal. And we're going to show you the deal. Then I just showcase to you that this deal is available. We're going to go through how he bought it. Uh, because I do think that a lot of us, we're sitting in the corner thinking that we might not be able to uh, or thinking that we can just jump on into these deals and there's no issues. Uh, and here is someone else who managed to uh, do it and managed to move in the terrains, turbulence and everything else that came with the deal and he was able to do it. So that's number one. How did he buy it? And then the second thing is, how did he do it? So where is the deal right now? right so within this period we did say that uh, it was a deal that i showcased about a year year and a half ago from now and now he's been paid several times with the university uh, he's enjoying his proceeds uh, his family is enjoying his proceeds but also uh how is it going now so by the end of the this, this video we're going to showcase how it is going now but above that he is going to teach us so i am not going to teach you anything today this guy here he's going to teach us everything so like i did say this is a back flash that's what we're doing and uh, let's jump in to see what actually happens in some of these master classes this is a segment that we have where uh someone else who is who has done a deal uh within the period of these master classes they will come in and teach us their own personal experience of a recent deal uh, so what you are going to be seeing now is literally fresh out of our last master class and i'm hoping that you'll be able to come and attend us on the next master classes and how you can be able to attend is in the comments uh, you see a link uh, where you can be able to buy your own ticket and we're running a special and this special is you pay for one ticket at 3497 and you get to have four tickets basically if you are buying a three four nine seven you're buying for yourself but three people can come through uh into class so just buy uh, those tickets and we'll see you into the into the class but for now let's jump in to see how did this guy do it and how is he doing it right now um but as business people we need to be careful we need to have mitigations and we need to be knowing which universities are paying which ones are not um, and we should trade carefully so that our business can continue running. So going into today's deal, let's jump on into today's deal. It's a 2 million rand deal. I don't think everyone will be able to qualify for this one. I do think that someone else who's an executive, young executive will be able to qualify it, uh, for it more specifically for the amount of money that is required here, 2.2 million. 
not every simple TJ is going to get 2.2 million underneath their bed. Uh, and not every TJ is going to be able to afford to borrow 2.2 million from the bank. Uh, so I do think that it's a specific people that are going to be um, banking on this. Day. So it's 2.2 million, but the beauty of it, uh, this is an amazing deal. Um, it's going to give you around about 90K rental. Uh, but let's go on. We haven't done this today. Let's start. We want to start doing the right things. So wherever you are, one, two, three, let's go. My heart is open. Yeah, you need to repeat after me. Let's start again. One, two, three. My heart is open. My mind is open. Help me, TJ, to make some money. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what we do. Why am I always saying that we need to do this, guys? Um, not wherever you are. And uh, let's see where it's going to get you. It's going to get you to some money. Right, the deal that we are going to be talking about today, it's a simple deal. It is a student race. It's not a student race at the moment. Uh, it is to chase for the 2024, which is next year's intake. Um, when I started buying this uh, properties in this area, I was buying properties at a million. And the prices just continued skyrocketing. It's been amazing. Uh, but this particular property, you can buy it for 2.2 million, and there's an additional renovation of 500,000 that is going to be on the deal. Okay, so you're all in for round about 3.2 million, and you're going to be collecting a yield of plus 20 percent. They're collecting 90,000 rand a month, 90,000 rand a month. Whichever way you want to slice and dice this, whether this property is cash, whether you're going to borrow some money, you're going to get some great returns. Okay? You're going to gain. Does the deal make sense? Mm -hmm. Right. Gerard saw this and he was like, I'm good for it. Right? With saying that, we welcome Gerard, and he's going to tell us about himself and how he eventually closed the deal. I got to know of Gerard via a good friend of mine called Hero, and <coughs> we started talking, and Gerard was keen to do some stuff, and I said, yeah, let's go ahead, come through, brother. There's many opportunities out there. So that's my family, uh, wife with three boys. Uh, I would always like to say I'm a God-fearing man because I think he created me, he's kept me sane, and he's always been there to guide me to make the right decisions. I don't know if it was for my sins, but even my siblings, we were five boys as well. <laughs> as you know, back in the days, no TVs. I think they tried to find a daughter <laughs> and just never came. <laughs> so we, and my mother ended up with five boys. So I learned from her. I stopped at three. So the reason why I was, I, I always planned only for two, but the boys, uh, a set of twins, and that's how we ended up uh, with three boys. Cool, TJ. A bit about myself in terms of my personal, uh, professional career. I started off as a researcher in 1995. Uh, I think this is not the focus, but just wanted to kind of briefly share with you. Uh, in the research field, been part uh, of, of global uh, organizations in the market research field, but basically started my business career uh, in 2003 and has have run it since 2003. Uh, I do have a business partner in this research business. So property, how did my journey start? I think as TJ introduced me, he said we've got a common friend. So the common friend is Leroy, Leroy Slaver. Um, and it really started with informal conversations because I knew he was in this space. 
I, I had an interest, didn't know much about it, and we used to, every time we see each other, I used to set up appointments to kind of understand this, what is this all about as well. So that's how it started. But as a researcher, we always curious in nature. Yeah. We always go digging. <laughs> and I then started to understand better in terms of what is a research. I attended webinars, uh, literature reviews as well. And uh, what really sold me is uh, attending the session here in Cape Town. It was around winter time last year as well. <coughs> TJ recommended that I go down there and visit and see what is for. I can honestly tell you, going out on a field visit to actually see how it's been done was what convinced me. The real touch and feel of how you actually run this. And that's what convinced me to say that I need to get into this space. So, the process took me 12 to 18 months, give or take. It, does, it did initially start with a whole lot of informal conversation. But the essence of this is, and why I'm telling this, is that you always need to do your homework. Don't rush into things as well. I think too often we see people making big money, and that's where we want to venture. Do your own personal homework to understand the landscape and what it's all about before getting into it as well. So that's just one piece of advice for me. Then, why the student accommodation? And again, through these conversations, you understood the return of investments in terms of the property market. So I know some people have single units and own single units. This is no discredit to what you're doing. It's just that we have different choices in life as well. And I've shared my reasons why I chose student accommodation. There was two things that why I wanted to get into this. One was really to diversify my income. This Proverbs, Proverbs 22 verse 3. It talks about brave people can foresee danger coming. And I could see danger coming last year as I had prepared the Stanford C uh, business program. This space is being impacted by technology, artific artificial intelligence. And to be on the safe side, I needed to look at something different. And so I needed to then start looking at diversifying my portfolio. But I've never ever had a side hustle in my life. I was one of those individuals that just always been in corporate and generated the income. That's me, playing it safe, being content, you know. Sometimes I think, you know, if, as I said, I'm a God-fearing man. Sometimes we take the, the Bible readings literally as well, because it talks about being content as well. And I was too content as well, until last year, where I thought, geez, if anything happens in this space, that's, my family is gone. And so I needed to do something as well. But, we in business to make money. So I looked at the return of investments. I had some funds. Do I invest it in a normal bank account and get on an average 11 to 12 percent? Or am I going to do something different? And when I looked at the options, it was quite clear for me where I must go into and where I need to spend my money as well. And I chose this. I think TJ spoke about the different options available. And I, I'll share this a bit. Just grab. I think to re-emphasize what TJ spoke about, processes and systems as well. So the My Student House, the reason why I chose that, 
I still have the research business to run. My time is very limited as well. So this is also one reason why I thought I can get into this space because somebody else is going to then manage on, on my behalf. The key is why should I go through the failures when someone else has done it already? Let me learn from those mistakes as well. The second thing is the maintenance, and it's all time-based as well. I, didn't, I don't have the time to physically look after the property, and hence, it was a no-brainer for me. But it's a huge investment as well. You'll see the numbers later as well. I needed to manage that risk as well. And rather, me managing it, let me allow the experts to do it as well. Thanks. So, like all of us, we always try the DIY solution. So, been seen, attended property seminars, etc. I thought, nah, I can do this. I chose Cape Town, and the reason why I chose Cape Town is that I always saw it as a place where I could retire. And so I went there with the view of purchasing property there, but also having in mind as a plan B, I'd like to retire one day. So my plan B there is, should that go wrong, I'll have a property to stay and enjoy for my retirement as well. View to eight houses, I thought are ah, easy. I must sign a deal in that weekend. Yeah, it didn't work out. Dololo. Zero. <laughs> but what I want to share here with you, and this is what TJ spoke about, it's who you surround yourself with. Surround yourself in the right circles. The networking that he spoke about. If I wasn't in the right network, I wouldn't have been standing here today. I would still be hunting for properties. <laughs> because it takes time. You know, you need to know the ins and outs of all. So there were three options that was available to me. Uh, the TJ Valley Apartments. It's two bedrooms, but you can get four, four units out of it. And the other one was in Belleville. This is the one that I went to view. And because I thought I was clever, I'm going to first go suss out the market. The day I viewed this property, when I met uh, Rieta the morning, she told me that that property has been sold a cash deal on that day. So, you need to move when the deals come as well, because they won't always be there. So that's the first deal. 69 S1, I think my pride and joy. Uh, it's 1,300 square meters, six bedroom, three bathroom. We converted that into a 26 bed house. Eight singles and 18 doubles as well. I think you heard Rieta also mean, um, talking about the portal. This property is literally even less than what that 1.7 kilometers from the university as well. So you can just imagine that when these guys go into the portal, mine should be showing up on the top list as well. Next slide. It generates a monthly passive income of 106,000. That's 26 times 4.1. That's what you get. So, that's the nice part about it. Yeah, here comes the scale. <laughs> because there's no quick fix, there's no quick money that you can earn overnight. It comes with a lot of hard work. Thanks, DJ. It's also animated. So yeah, if you can stop there. I was quite confident that ah, I should easily get a 90% or 100% bond as well. 
my income is fine, my credit history score is fine. Until you find out that when you're self-employed, <laughs> there's many loopholes that you need to get through in order to get that. They offered me only 60% on So you do the maths there as well. I need to cover the 40% of the bond and then the rest of the capital still to complete the renovation as well. That's a big ask as well. So there, another stumbling block as well, as you go through this journey as well. That's why you can understand the title, Guts and Determination as well. Thanks, TJ. So what were the options available for me? I could ask my business partner to come on board, which is part of the research uh, uh, business. Or I could use the research business to stand surety. The last option was to do a joint bond with my wife. Option one and two was not really an option for me. When I went into the side hustle for me, I wanted to see if I can stand on my own. Having a business partner, you always bounce ideas off. And I've never owned something in my life as well, as 100%. So it was for me to kind of challenge myself to say, this is the next step for me. Can I run a business on my own as well? And that's why I didn't go with option one or two. I desperately needed the money, but I thought I need to stand independently as well. Option three, my wife knows all about this, but she didn't want to take the risk. She thought it's way too risky. But I'll share a bit more at a later stage. So, the shortfall was 1.8 million rand based on the 60%. I was fortunate enough that in the wisdom of that when we got dividends from the research business, I always kept the money as well. And just even make sure that I just go willy-nilly and spend it as well. But I was still a million rand short. Where do I get these funds? How do I do it? And I think I'm just being honest, I didn't have the answers. I didn't know. All I knew is I wanted to close this deal. I was determined to close this deal. I signed the purchase, uh, offer to purchase, with not actually knowing how am I going to fund this million grant. I figured out I'm going to just go with it. And I think that's the reason why I said during this process, it kind of got me closer to God as well. Because all previous deals that I used to do, I was always in control as well. And I think sometimes God uses and tests us in different ways as well. And in this case, and in this example, it was that I needed to rely on Him. I needed to have faith and trust in Him because I couldn't generate that money. And I thought I'm not going to go ask someone else for it. So, there's a famous saying, use what you have at your disposal as well. Credit cards, sure. Even today, it's still looking very bleak. Two credit cards, exhausted. I was wise enough to also start knowing this, is to talk payment plans with the different service providers as well always made sure I'll give 50-60% deposit in whatever they needed to do. So that assured them at least there is money, there is things to kind of go on as well. And every month I used to just figure out what am I going to do next uh, type of thing as well. I borrowed some money from family. Uh, I had a vehicle, it was paid off. I needed to go refinance that as well. So I went through the process of refinancing that vehicle as well to make sure that I can get funds for this as well. All of that was not going to be possible 
if we can see a uh, silver click mouse here. Okay, so doing the project, what went wrong? We started very late, the 1st of December. Typically, TJ can vouch this. By the first week of December, uh, your property must be done and completed, must be ready for viewing, for students to come and see what this is all about. We only started on the, in the first week of during the construction, again, sometimes we think we're wise and we want to save money. So I got my own construction guys kind of from the area. It worked, but it didn't work as well because there were some delays as well. And as always, I think the advice is you sometimes take this for granted when they say, have 20% for contingency. If they really mean it. And that's not to say that you always start with the scope of work in terms of what you stick with it. But there's always hidden stuff when you do your renovation that comes up as well. But the critical point is that during your renovation as well, and this is something TJ taught me, stick to your plan, do not change. Because you can get easily trapped and overspend as well because the contractors will tell you, listen, the carpet needs to be replaced. It doesn't look good, you know? And the next, if you open your eyes, it can be 50,000 rand later as well. You can just imagine what sleepless night that can cause you as well. So really stick to your plan as well. Some of the costs I didn't anticipate was around security, electrical fencing, project management fees, and the accreditation fees as well. So as you go along, you kind of find, find out. That's just because I'm new to the property market. People that have done this knows this off by heart. There was another 110K that I needed to get to fund it. So what have I learned? It's really to trust the My Student House processes, systems, and the network of service providers. It's tried and tested, guys. I can attest to that as well. Don't burn your fingers. Luckily for me, it was just the construction. The rest of the stuff, I just said, guys, manage that as well. What is key as well with contractors as well is always to make sure that you sign off the budget. Yes, you can physically get quotations, and you guys can physically <coughs> that this is the amount. But if there's no signature to it, it sometimes can be misleading. Mm -hmm. So really just make sure that this is the budget, you understand it, these are the signatures that applies to it as well. Because as you go along, the guy says, listen, I must just quickly do this, I, I just quickly need to do that. And that's what you need to be very careful as well. So as I indicated, December is way too late to start the project. We really need to have it done and dusted, your renovations done and dusted by in October. So viewing is done in December. Intake happens in uh, January, and your property should be available in uh, end of January to a new fair. If you're in property investment, at some point or the other, you have had to evict someone. And I know, my friends, it is a painful exercise. But I'm here to tell you that I, have, for the last couple of years, I've been using a company that is called Expello. Expello, basically what they do is that you pay them a monthly fee. And over and above that, whenever you get a delinquent tenant, they will come and evict that individual free of charge. Because obviously you've been paying, right? And over and above that, you don't have to do anything. But guess what? I have managed to organize a good price for you. And the link here that you're seeing, which is called expello.link forward slash TJ Tribe, gets you a great discount from Expello. So my friends, don't be caught with your pants down on your tenant. Just Expello them with Expello. It is ITJ. Let's go back to the video. 
What were some of the challenges that when students moved uh, moves in, that moved in? Jeez. I, I had a discussion and I said, you know, in this game, there's never a dull moment. You know, so February comes, you think, hey, the place is done, it's dusted, it's ready. You get a burst pipe. Showers block, but you ask yourself, I just need to innovation now. These are extra costs that comes in as well, that you need to kind of deal with as well. What happened uh, in one instance is that the municipal changes of own, uh, the change of ownership didn't happen. On the Friday night, the guys had to spend the weekend in the dark as well. So that's not a good impression that you kind of leave on the students as well. But my key learnings there is there will always be challenges. The key is really just to communicate, to communicate, communicate, and have a plan B in place. But when there is an inconvenience, also show empathy for that as well, the human beings as well. So I did a small thing to the guys for that weekend. I physically drove down the next weekend and just made sure I gave each one a slab of chocolate and a power plate. No small things. Because when I did that, they forgot about the inconvenience and they were satisfied with showing the empathy as well. That costed something like 700 rand. And these are small things because that's part of retention. I want those 26 students to come back next year. I don't want them to change. I don't need to go through the hustle of worrying again, and we'll see why I say that in the next slide. So, come, property is ready. End of January, I'm new to this. Yes. We are all people, have signed now. I started panicking. <laughs> <laughs> I have made promises to say, when I get my first payment, I'll pay and sort out my debt. Yeah, 2nd of February comes, at least there's nine. But still, there's the monthly cost that I'm still occurring, incurring. I need the funds when it was promised or planned for. <coughs> but again, yeah, trusting the process and the systems as well. My student house has got a very good reputation as well. Ria just spoke about how the applications they get. Yeah, and yeah, so we fold out the property as well. What are some of the challenges during intake load shedding? In the room here, can you answer why do you think this is such a problem? Kids cannot. Thanks. The the they don't care about anything. They can go out, they can go a weekend without electricity. They cannot go out a weekend without being connected. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If there's one thing that I've learned as well with the students, make sure you have the best internet connection. <laughs> <laughs> Spend the money there. Yeah. <laughs> You'll have happy students as yeah. well. Yeah. Thanks. Really. So some of the lessons learned from my uh, income. I'm grateful that I got my first payment uh, at the end of March. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I'll just keep it here because I'm almost done. One thing that I needed to do from this is also start setting funds aside for the solar systems as well. Again, speaking to the connectivity, I need to ensure that that gets done. Uh, the past five months, and I literally take it from November to March, has been rough. Emotionally, draining, financially. And this is one thing uh, TJ also advocates for. Once you get your thing, always have a reward for that mm -hmm. as well. Because then it feels worthwhile. Mm -hmm. 
in small celebratory things that we should not neglect as well. And really, these are just plans at this point in time, just to make sure 60 to 70% goes back into the business, 10% uh, towards the next project, 10% savings. My dreams and wishes is really to fit where is to plow back into the students and any community project as well. Then the project and the family as well, how my family got involved as well into this. Don't underestimate the learnings get, that you get from these sessions as well. I think the key is take these teachings and apply it. Because when I started the property, my wife, they didn't want to do the joint bond. She will have a different view now because she's seen it. I've shared with her what is happening in the space as well. And that that means that should we do the next deal, she'll be far more comfortable as well. And that I wouldn't have known if I didn't attend these sessions as well. The concept of having a trust eventually understood why there's an ANC contract because it protects her and the kids as well. So if anything goes wrong, they after the entity or the trust, the entity, and then me. Okay. Now, bringing it back in terms of the property and why I believe uh, she can, she'll be more receptive, is she's been part of the entire process from viewing, from application, to physically going there as well. And the fact that we have a very open relationship, I share with uh, the financials of what has come in and what is also going out as well, so that she can understand what, what am I doing and what am I all about as well, and what's happening from a finance perspective as well. And I think part of TJ's recommendation is that as part of the family is also being, and as part of being open to the spouse, is to have, actually have board meetings with her, because that's what it's all about as well. If I want to involve the family as well, and yeah, that's <coughs> what I want to you. I have just walked in onto the property, and uh, this is the face of the property as one walks in it's an amazing property this is a chilling area in my view because this is the gate you're literally the gate in my view i don't think that putting up uh, a chilling area here is a good idea even though of course you know there is shade here but not really and as you can see on our left hand side here they've got what they're called the jojo tank uh, some of you have never been exposed to a Jojo tank before. But let's talk about it. What is it and why do you need it? So a Jojo tank is just a backup of water that you've got on your property. And then you can pump it back into the house. Uh, and over and above that, if there is no water on your property, imagine if you've got about 20, 30 kids on your property. Uh, what then? You know. So this is the entire gardening outside. An amazing property. And uh, we're just going to walk through it uh, from, a, from an outside perspective. Beautiful garden. The people that used to stay here, uh, you can see that they are gardening people. And as we walk through to the house, uh, by the way, this property is around about 600 meters away from the property, uh, from the university. So it's a good buy. I think so. So there we are. That's the full house. Nice roof where we can actually put in uh, solar and uh, there we go the back end of the house so the, we can see there's a lot of gardening that still needs to be done here my friends this guy here just literally bought this property I've done some reno and he's going through onto uh, the accreditation space uh, and he just got accredited actually with two bodies uh, one of them being a nasfas 
and another which is another body for private students uh, for him to actually be renting out a lovely fig tree it was a great idea for me to come out here it's beautiful some of you have never seen a fig tree before so i just thought that is where i was sitting just now yeah you remember yes at the beginning of the video and this is the actual property from the outside let's come back and they've got a bit of lemon trees are these lemons yes lemon trees and then some fig trees the kids are gonna have a party here two of them oh cool man and then coming through here there's the full garden they got a bit of peaches out here and uh what is this again i've forgotten what fruit this is granadilla no no it's not a granadilla anyway whatever fruit that it is right ample space i think those benches could have been cool out here a bit of a gardening out here as well uh lots of lemons another lemon here and spinach in the garden some grapes in the garden oh man the students are going to have fun here right so as you can see this property here it's an amazing property there you can see that's the full part of it from behind and now we are going to go in uh, they had a cottage right here that we can all see and if I go through into the cottage so I think we're gonna go through into let's go into the cottage first right a bit of security uh, if you understand security that's already you can see there let me just wave my hand see what happens okay see it went red there to indicate that there's an intruder right going along right it's a normal house man uh obviously this was a humongous um cottage here that's been put here let's go in to understand what it's looked like in this cottage all right so let's go in into the cottage and see beautiful look at that amazing we've got tiles Amazing work of tiles in this property. And bingo, you are presented with a kitchen. And then there is the new uh, microwaves. There is the sink, the cupboards looking beautiful. There's some security features. And bingo, this is, we're just gonna call this room number one. And uh, there is room number one. Uh, clearly, there's still some work to be done in this room. So here we are. And that's what it looks like. And as we go out, I'm just going to walk you through all of it so that you can see. Oh, and the fridges are right here. I didn't see that as I'm walking in. So there's another room here. Let's see. Oh, oops, sorry. Okay, then there's another room here. As we go into the cupboard, there was someone in that other room. And right where we are. There's another room, and this is a single. Right? And there's another room in here. They haven't finished doing the prep, but this looks like a double. So bingo we go. It's nicely freshly painted. You can see that. And there's a toilet in here. You can see there's a toilet there. This was existing. So you can see, look at how the steady it is. But I'm sure they're gonna clean that up. But you know, uh, this was existing. I like the way that they just optimized whatever that is here. And my friends, this is the end of what was the cottage or what is the cottage. And now we're going to go through into the main house uh, and going in. Bingo, this is the kitchen. What an amazing place to be, right? And uh, security 
for all the kids to be safe. They've got cameras galore everywhere. Even in the kitchen, they have cameras. You can see on my right hand corner there, there's a camera there. And uh, walking through the kitchen, they've got both gas heaters. They've got not gas heaters, gas stoves. You can see these are brand new, right? Brand new gas. And you um, can see that this was existing, right? So obviously, this landlord is looking at it from a perspective of what if there is no power lots of lots of books here and this is a scholar right this is a scholar yeah amazing and then as we go along look at look at that paint i think this is like a towel painting whatever it is maybe a sticker maybe but it looks beautiful listen yeah okay good stuff and uh, there is another storeroom, a big cupboard there. I'm not so sure what's in there. I was told not to go in there. And we are coming into this room. Quite a spacious room. If we look at into it. There you go. So this would have been an existing room. No work was done in here whatsoever. And uh, two kids can fit in here. And um, going into back into the kitchen where we were just now, and there's a bathroom room here. Existing stuff, yeah. Shower looks like that's a new header though that they've put in. Oh, lights just went on. So they've got sensors. Oh, amazing! That's how you can save the lights as well. And in here, existing bathroom room. This is an existing toilet. And going that way, and then this was, I don't know what this was. But, surprise, surprise, there is more space. This is so cool. And this is another room as well. And fitting two more students, right? And that is obviously another door, another exit. These guys are fire compliant, which is so cool. They've got their security thingies, which is so cool. Oh, I love this landlord here. I wonder who been teaching him how to do all of this. Obviously, it's at the TJ tribe. Yeah. Let's go in here. This is another room. And again, beautiful room, as we can see here. Again, I like the way, what this guy has been doing. He's been repurposing a lot of stuff. Right? Sometimes you buy a property... And you don't need to do a lot of things. Um, when I was growing up, my house or my room used to look exactly like this. We had these tiles here. Yeah, so when I came into this property, I was like, whoa, this house reminds me of my growing up. I used to polish these properties. I used to po polish uh, this uh, hard when I was growing up. And this is a single. Oh, amazing. That is so cool. And again, this is also another single, as we can see. And we're going in here. This is also another single. Amazing stuff. And uh, this is also another single. Oh, cool, man. So, this is the entire house. All right, so we're back again. This is a single. Um, it's quite spacious. Uh, the little cupboards. So I'm trying to think that this is a one bed with all this spacious space. Amazing stuff. All right. Okay, going back. And this is a bathroom room. Some stuff, and this is another bathroom room. So, two of them next to each other full bathroom with a toilet and shower. And we're coming back to where we were before. And uh, bingo, we are back again into the kitchen. Amazing place, right? And we are now outside again, right.
Otherwise, uh, I'm very well, thanks, brother. How's it going on your side? Okay, um, yeah. so let's start with the good things, right? I was at your property yesterday, um, and uh, I want to say congratulations to you and the missus and the kids. Um, that's number one. Number two is uh, you've, you've done a great job at the property. It looks amazing. Um, taking into consideration that our relationship just started. So... Yeah, sure. You you were very I think you you and the team followed uh, you know everything to the T though I heard from my team members that there was lots of pain and yeah. uh, and I said to them look we haven't worked with these guys before um, yeah. so these are teething issues but I'm sure the second one is not going to be like this right no for sure for right sure. then there's, the, no, there's a lot, lot of lessons learned from this experience hundred percent. Then the third thing is, um, I just want us to go through a few things. Uh, I'm sure you are aware of those things, but I want to reinforce it because uh, it's a make or break for us uh, as the year progresses. Yeah. Okay. okay. So the first one is um, your cleaning up of the property in terms i know in the rainy season so you've got a lot of shrubs and things like that around so yeah. um if you could get a garden service to trim it a little bit um so that you have you have visibility across everywhere with your cameras because it's pointless having okay. cameras but now the trees are in the way of the cameras okay right okay. so so that's number one number two your Jojo tank is right on the street, on the boundary. Yeah. And it's okay, but I'm cautious about the motor. So, so that motor is in the eyes of everyone. I don't know if you've noticed that. I've noticed it. I, you know, um, I guess, I guess, again, this is part of the learning. Um, I didn't know the requirements of that. Yeah, I, I think for me, from my perspective, maybe not having that knowledge. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I take your point. Okay, so work around. Um, if we can plant something around it, that would be great. It's an easy solution. Uh, but my happy place would be for us to cover it. Is, is, is it more the motor rather than the total in terms of where it is? Or is it the case that should we try and slightly move it? Yeah, uh, right. I just wanted to get. So, so I think for me it's two things here. Anything yeah. that is in the in the public eye draws at attraction, isn't? It? Yeah. So yeah. we uh, this area here uh, during the Christmas holidays, an example. Um, yeah. A, a house There's breaks. No one yeah, yeah. Uh, the whole neighborhood is strange accommodation, so yeah. beggars kick in. So in my head, if a mortar uh, is laying in the visibility yeah. of everyone, no, I, yeah. it becomes an easy target, right? Okay. And it's not difficult to, to dis dis dismantle a, a mortar. Uh, so yeah. uh, the position of the Jojo, I would have put it somewhere. I would have put it maybe at the back. Uh, that's neither here nor there. Exactly, yeah. But yeah. but for me, what's important is to cover the motor, not for it just to be okay. in the public. Okay. Right. No cool. So it can Thanks. be a small box. It can be a small wooden something. It can be some shrubs yeah. that you can put around it. I see you opted for the guys to take their solar. Because I was okay. under the impression that there is solar on your property. For the, uh, for the backup power. No, they, 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 no they, they, they said they're going to move with it. That was um, the agreement, and in the OTP, it was also stipulated. Yeah, um, yeah. You yeah. you're familiar that you can rent it out, right? Yeah, I am familiar as well. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so yeah. take that as a consideration and run it as an expense into the business, um, yeah. rather than buying uh, based on where you yeah. are, because in the area you have. Uh, two to four hours downtime. Yeah. 
Right. So yeah. if we don't solve this within this quarter, we will have issues. Yeah. Students might okay. want to move. Yeah, no, it, it's high on my priority. Okay, awesome. Then the yeah. that you're paying. Uh, so um, as of yesterday, uh, I saw that there was one student that moved in. Whilst I was there, yeah. there was two students that came to view with their parents. Um, I didn't get involved. I let the team run, do whatever that they need to do. I saw on your report, your weekly report, that there's about four students that have been committed to the property. Um, yeah. So that's good. And um, you also have extra beds from what we initially spoke about, what we were seeing. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and you've got that whole back area. Back area, yeah. Uh, so if you do this correctly with the rezoning team, um, you, you still have more space there that you can actually do more things uh cleverly um so even if yeah, this so, year yeah if yeah. if your goal yeah. is just to focus on that and make it grow it's not a train smash rather than going to buy another one but just weigh out you know what gives you more value uh yeah 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 no 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 i totally totally makes Okay, so think about it, and uh, whilst you're thinking about it, reflect on our one-on-one -on -one discussions uh, in the coaching sessions, and then uh, maybe in the next 30 days on our next session again, let me know where you are. All right, brother. Well done. No, thanks. Thanks, CJ. Thanks okay. for the call. I appreciate it. Cheers, man. Bye. This is what it is, investing with real assets, and you get to earn your own cash. This is one of my students, or my, one of my clients who's doing this. On his own, he came to school, we educated him how to do this. He saw the opportunity that came in, and after that, he took the risk, and now it's showtime. At the time of recording this video, he already had four students lined up. And uh, we are just like right at the beginning of the intake, right at the beginning. Actually, the intake hasn't really started. But by the time that this video goes out, Intech will be in full spin. Now, my friend, if you got the money, or even if you don't have, why are you not learning how to do this? This property is going to be teaching him how to make money. He doesn't have to leave his job. He's going to be making money on this property whilst he's doing whatever he does, wherever he's working. And this property will give him so much money. And my friends, I'm always talking about create real assets, even in your business or as a sideline, so that they can pay you. And it's a beautiful place. You can hear the birds and so on. I just love it here. But besides loving it, it's giving someone some money. What are you waiting for? But anyways, maybe you are keen on understanding or knowing some more deals like these ones. In the comments, let us know. Jump on onto the link that is there. Or the number that's coming up, call me. Maybe we can find you a deal like this one. In the tribe, we are there to support you. The tribe is there to support you. So I want to emphasize on this point as I land the, the plane. If you are looking for a home where you are saying to yourself, I want to grow. Personal growth is important to me. I want to grow a business. I want to grow personally. I want to grow in my and start to say you want to grow your investments if you yourself are not grown, if you yourself are not educated. So this is the end result, but there's a whole lot of work that we need to do here. My friends, I want to welcome you to the TJ Tribe. It's amazing having you. And uh, this year is going to be your best year ever as you grind. I am going to be grinding myself. I share whatever I am doing that's working and others share whatever that they're doing that's working. And you can gravitate to that and together we can win. And my friends, I'll check you out on the next video. And if this has been helpful, share it with others and uh, let's all grow. If you are new to the TJ tribe, I will see you in the class because I'm taking comfort that you're going to join. And if you've already joined with us, hey, welcome. This year here is going to be our best year ever.